So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! Keep spitting my face! I'm not sure where today's video takes us, but I can tell you, I believe this guy is a sovereign citizen. He has expired license tags and he calls 911 during a traffic stop. I'm not kidding. Enjoy! Supervisor, right now. I'm going to call 911. I'll call 911 right now. I don't care. You're not going to threaten me. What's your name and badge number? Threatening me. Officer Black 206. Really? That's how you do stuff? You threaten people? That's stupid. That's not how you do it. That's not your job. You need to I need your supervisor your right now, and you're refusing to give me a supervisor? Step out of the vehicle. Yeah, I have an Officer Black here. What's your badge number? 206. 206? I know it's unbelievable. But this idiot was pulled over by the police, and now he's dialed 911 to report that he's being pulled over. This would only happen with one other person. Roll that clip. I pay for that uniform. I pay for that car. I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? And he is. Uh, he initiated a traffic stop, and uh, then he proceed. Yeah, he proceeded to open my door, and he won't. Get he's a like drag him out of the car. He said he's going to drag me out of the car. I'm in fear right now. He's threatening me. Yeah. What a supervisor. Okay, well, I didn't commit a crime, and they're here threatening me. So uh, I feel like I need a supervisor. They're refusing to bring a supervisor. What's your name and badge number? <clears throat> No. What's your name? Deputy Hoyt, number 797. Then, you know, then tell him that he's doing his job wrong by opening my door. I wish I knew more details about this traffic stop. This is a really good one. Idiot's been stopped, doesn't agree of why he was stopped. He claims he hasn't committed a crime, and he's on the phone with 911. This is too much for me. I'm getting a major headache out of this. It doesn't matter what he asked me, and you know it. He violated my rights, and he knows it. Okay, listen. Have you heard of the... Listen to me for a second. I'm going to get off here, ma'am, okay? Or would you rather I stay on the phone? I, I, I just need to talk to you for a second. That's all I need to do. Okay. What's well, the what, reason why stop, you, can, stop, you have to have a reason to run this plate, stop, period? That's not correct, ma'am. Many cities around the United States have automatic license plate readers on poles when you enter their jurisdiction. No one is needed. All that information is sent directly back to the command center, and they can dispatch a car within minutes to intercept you. She, don't don't worry about her. I know my rights, and I know that he waited to stop me when he had plenty of. Had, yeah, sure, I'll listen. Have you ever heard of the court case Pennsylvania versus Mims? I know First Amendment rights. Fourth Amendment rights. Pennsylvania versus Mims states that we can ask any individual. You can't just open my car door. If you're going to step out of the vehicle, we can order the driver and passengers out of the vehicle. What was the crime that was committed? I wasn't here. He needs to articulate the crime to me. Oh, now this guy's been watching YouTube videos. I haven't decided yet, though. Do you think this guy's a sovereign citizen, or is he a frauditor? I think he's kind of a cross between the two. Your plate's expired. That's you not have a crime. To have a, you have to have a, crime. a, you have to have a reason a to run his plate, period. It is it a misdemeanor? Your plates are expired. So why, why, okay, so why Was I speeding? That doesn't matter. Your plates are expired. My plates are expired, exactly. You have to have a reason to run his you plates. You got my name when you ran the plates. If you if you're on if you're on the roadway, he got you my ha, name. You have when to have a reason to run my run the plates. We already know. Yes, you do. No yeah, yeah, a crime has to be committed. Tried to open my door. Yes, I'm you not do. Stepping out there, I don't trust him, and I don't trust this. I'm leaning towards a sovereign citizen for these two, because I don't hear frauditors say too much about license plates and they can't run them. I never heard a frauditor say that, so we're going to go ahead and mark these two as sovereign citizens. Why would I trust him? He tried to open my door. 
because I asked you to step out of the vehicle. It doesn't matter if you ask me. I asked for a supervisor, and there okay. still isn't one. I need a supervisor. You know, you right know. now. Listen, no. I need a supervisor. I don't answer questions. I don't answer any more questions. I need a supervisor. You're going to break my window? You need to step out of the car. door. He's going to break my window? I'm filming everything, so let him break your window. Unlock the door. We need a supervisor. I told him he's going to be right sadly mistaken. We need your supervisor now. He's going to be sadly mistaken. You unlock the door. You can settle this in court. I have nothing to worry about. Okay. You're no, yes indeed, bird brain. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. The police officer threatened to smash your window, and if that's not bad enough, he also said he might arrest you. So you have absolutely nothing to worry about, except for one thing. You gotta get that supervisor down there. Where is that supervisor? You can settle this in court, just step out. So you can arrest me now? No, so I can talk to you. That's not how this works. Well, I need a supervisor. Pennsylvania versus Minnesota states, I can order you out of the vehicle, and you have to step out of the vehicle. If, if a crime has been committed, or if there's yeah, suspicion yeah. of a crime. There was no crime. There is no crime. Where's your unlock button at? There is no crime. Where's your unlock button at? You can't stick his, your hand in his window. There you go. You filming it? Yep, I am filming every, all, every bit of it. So you're going to... Why would I do that? I don't trust you at all. Fine. You're doing your job wrong. Okay, thank you for telling me how to do my job. Step out, please. Okay, You're letting this happen. Okay, folks, are you mad? So am I, because that's where the video ends. This Yahoo has two videos up on his YouTube channel, and both of them end without telling what happened at the, at the end of the story. Go to his website. Tell him, hey, what's up? He's only got two videos. He's not monetized. I see in the short video there today that he's in the hospital for something. He said he'll be out. I don't think it's anything serious. But anyway, tell him to start putting the endings up there or take that channel down. We want to know what happened. Inquiring minds want to know. If you enjoy watching morons, idiots, and imbeciles on this channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that.